Hello everyone, I welcome you all for SVK tutorials. In this session, I am going to discuss uh, the Fourier transform and uh, Z transforms of module 3. So, for the model question paper 1, consider the question number 5a. Find the Fourier transform of uh, f of x equal to 1, 0 for the interval uh, mod x less than or equal to 1 and mod x greater than 1. Hence, evaluate integral 0 to infinity sin x by x dx, which is one of the important problem. So, we require to find the Fourier transform for the given function f of x. So here f of f of x is equal to integral minus infinity to plus infinity f of x equal to e power i u x dx. As the interval has been splitted like this, minus 1 to 1 is equal to 1. Rest of the values are 0. I have splitted the value. So that's why you are left out with minus 1 to 1 as constant value. So that is minus 1 to 1 f of x e power i u x dx. So, in that interval f of x is defined as 1, substitute that value 1 and now integrate that integral of e power i u x is e power i u x divided by i u, substitute the limits for x, we are going to get 1 over i u times of e power i u minus e power minus i u, you should know what is e power i theta, e power i theta is cos theta plus i sin theta and e power minus i theta is cos theta minus i sin theta and difference of these two will be equal to i or uh, 2 times of i sin theta. So, that is what we are going to write which is equal to 2 i sin u divided by i u. So, here i i get cancelled you are left out with 2 sin u divided by u that is what f of u. So, now to evaluate integral part integral 0 to infinity sin x by x dx. So, by inverse Fourier transform we are going to have the standard formula f of x is equal to 1 by 2 pi integral minus infinity to plus infinity f of u e power minus i u x t u. Substitute y f of u here, it is 2 sin u divided by u. So, put x equal to 0, we are going to get f of 0 which is equal to 1 by 2 pi integral minus infinity to plus infinity and e power 0 will be what? 1, so we'll have to put 2 sin u divided by u t u. So, here 2 to get cancelled and we know that f of 0 will be equal to 1. Substitute that in the left hand side, 1 will be equal to 1 over pi integral minus infinity 2 plus infinity sin u by u du and cross multiply this value, we are going to get minus infinity 2 plus infinity sin u by u du equal to pi. Now, changing the variable u to minus u, we are going to get sin of minus theta divided sin of minus u divided by minus u which is equal to sin u by u which is an even function. So, we can write this uh, integral as by knowing the property of uh, integration uh, definite integration minus a to a f of x dx can be written as 2 times of integral 0 to a f of x dx if the given function is even function and if the given function is odd we can write that as 0. As we come to know that it is even function, we can write that as 2, in, 2 into integral 0 to infinity sin u by u dx. So, cross multiply that 2, we are going to get integral 0 to infinity sin u by u du equal to pi by 2. Put a equal to 1 and uh, change u to x in the above equation, we are going to get pi by 2 equal to integral 0 to infinity sin x by x dx. So, therefore, we are going to get the required result integral 0 to phi infinity sin x by x dx is equal to pi by 2. Moving on to the next question, uh, find the Fourier cosine and sine transform of e power minus ax. So, consider the sine transform formula. Sine transform formula is given by fs of f of u is equal to integral 0 to infinity f of x sin ux dx. Substitute the value of f of x plus e power minus i a x and integrate that value. This is what the standard formula we have. Comparing these two, here a will be equal to minus a and b will be equal to u and substituting that value. After comparing the a value and u value, we are going to get a equal to minus a and b equal to u. So, substituting that uh, these values in the standard formula, it will be e power minus a x divided by minus a the whole square plus q square times of minus a sin u x minus u cos u x limits run from 0 to infinity. So, 
applying the limits we are left out with 1 over a square plus b square times of e power e power minus infinity make this changes here it is e power minus infinity minus e power 0 times of 0 minus u of 1 so it is you are left out with u minus into minus plus u of 1 it is u so u by a square plus u square is the uh, cosine uh, sine transform let us see cosine transform fc of f of u which is given by integral 0 to infinity f of x cos u x dx so substitute uh, f of x value it is e power minus a x cos u x dx apply the standard formula here a value will be equal to minus a and b equal to u we are going to get f c of u equal to a by a square plus u square is the solution for cosine transform and sine transform. Moving on to question number 5c, find the z transform of uh, 1 that is n plus 1 the whole square and the second one is sine of 3n plus 5. So, these were a uh, bit important problem. Given z transform of n plus 1 whole square is equal to z transform of k by expansion of n plus 1 whole square, we are going to get n square plus 2n plus 1. So, applying linearity property, z transform of n square plus z transform of 2n plus z transform of 1. So, z transform of n square is z square plus z divided by z minus 1 whole cube plus 2 times of z transform of n is z by z minus 1 whole square plus z transform of 1 is z by z minus 1. Now, moving on to next question, find out z transform of uh, sine of 3n plus 5. So, applying the trigonometric identity, sine of uh, a plus b is nothing but sine a cos b plus cos a sine b. Here, a values are 3n and b values 5. So, we are going to get uh, here uh, the constant term is cos 5. Take out that cos 5 into z transform of uh, sine 3n plus sine 5 into z transform of cos 3n. It is, uh, it is of the standard form z transform of cos 3n and z transform of sin 3n we should know that so we know that z transform of cos n theta is given by z into z minus cos theta divided by z square minus 2z cos theta plus 1 similarly z transform of sin n theta is given by z sin theta divided by z square minus 2z cos theta plus 1 so put theta equal to 3 we are going to get cos pi into z trans z into sin 3 by z square minus 2z plus uh, 2z cos 3 plus 1 plus of sin phi into z square minus z cos 3 divided by z square minus 2 z cos 3 plus 1. So, after simplification, we are going to get the desired result as the transform of sin of 3 n plus phi as follows. Moving on to choice question that is uh, 6a. Find the Fourier transform of e power minus a square x square a is greater than 0. Hence, deduce that e power minus x square by 2 self reciprocal in respect of Fourier transform. So, this problem has been asked plenty plenty of times. So, you can go through this problem carefully and get prepared for your final examination. So, as we know that f of u is equal to integral minus infinity to plus infinity e power i u x f of x dx. Substitute the value of f of x is e power minus a square x square. So, then applying loss of uh, exponential, we are going to get e power minus a square times of x square minus i u x divided by a square. Now, consider x square minus i u x divided by a square. By completing the square method, we can have this as x minus i u by 2a whole square, 2a square the whole square plus u square by 4 a power Substituting that value under the integral uh, integral sign, we are going to get this. So, splitting that uh, value, we are going to get this equation. So, from this put uh, the value of t as a times of x minus i u divided by 2a square. So, the simplification part has been shown here. We are going to get integral t runs from minus infinity to plus infinity e for minus t square dt by a. So, now we know that the standard uh, value of uh, integral minus infinity to plus infinity e power minus t square dt is root pi. We can substitute that value here. We are going to get root pi by a times of e power minus 
i u square divided by 4 e square. So, as we need to show that uh, it is a self reciprocal, put e square equal to 1 by 2, a will be equal to 1 by root 2. So, after this substitution, we are going to get this value. So, further simplification has been done here, and we can say that since e power minus x square by 2 retains its nature after applying the Fourier transform, e power minus x square by 2 is self reciprocal under Fourier transform. So, we can give the conclusion as follows. So, moving on to question number 6b, find the inverse z transform of 2z square plus 3z divided by z plus 2 into z minus 4. Compulsory, there will be a one problem of this kind. So, consider the problem as u bar of z and go with the partial fraction. So, I have done partial fraction here. Consider the right hand side term and it can be written as a by z plus 2 plus b by z minus 4. Name that as equation 1. Find the values of a and b. We have got the values of a as uh, b as 11 by 6 and a a equal to 1 by 6. Substituting these values in the above expression, we are going to get in this expression, we should substitute a value and b value. We are going to get u bar of z by z is equal to 1 over 6 times of z plus 2 plus 11 by 6 times of z minus 4. Now multiply by z, we are going to get u bar of z equal to z by 6 times of z plus 2 plus 11 z by 6 times of z minus 4. So, taking z t inverse on both the sides, we are going to get uh, the z t inverse of z by z minus z plus 2 is minus 2 power n, and similarly z t inverse of z by z minus 4 is 4 power n. So, after simplification, we are going to get u n equal to minus 2 power n plus 11 times of 4 power n divided by 6 is the required solution for the given problem. Moving on to the Question number uh, 6c using the z transform solve the difference equation u n plus 2 plus 4 times of u n plus 1 plus 3 times of u n equal to 3 power n with the initial condition u not u not equal to 0 and u1 equal to 1. Consider the given equation and take z t on both the side and apply the standard uh, difference formula. We are going to get uh, the simplification as like so on. So then use the initial condition u0 will be equal to 0 and u1 will be equal to 1. Substituting all those conditions, we are going to left out with z square u bar of z minus z into 4 minus z plus 4z into u bar of z plus 3 times of u bar of z equal to z by z minus 3. Collecting u bar of z and simplifying further, I am going to get u bar of z will be equal to z square minus 2z by z plus 1 into z plus 3 into z minus 3. Solve this by partial fraction. We are going to get a, b, c. The values of a, b, c is as follows a equal to 3 by 8 and b equal to minus uh, 5 by 12 and uh, c equal to 1 by 24. Substituting all the three values and cross multiplying the value by z and taking z t inverse on both the sides, we are going to get 3 by 8 times of 1 minus 1 power n or minus 5 by 12 times of minus 3 power n plus 1 by 24 times of 3 power n is the required solution for the given problem. So, this is what are the questions from module 3. If you have any doubts regarding module 3, you can put a comment and if you like this video, kindly do subscribe to my channel and press like button. Thank you all for watching this video.